Hi guys, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. If you are planning on selling your AirPods or you are having issues with them, a factory reset is a good place to start. Regardless of which type of AirPods you own, there are two steps to completing a factory reset. First, you need to disassociate or remove your AirPods from your Apple account. This is very important if you plan on selling them because AirPods can only be linked to one Apple ID at a time. So they will continue to be linked to your Apple ID until you complete this first step. Grab your iPhone and open the lid of your AirPods. The card should appear showing they've connected to your iPhone. Tap the X to close the card and open the settings app. Tap on your AirPods and scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. If you have an older iPhone or older version of iOS, you might need to tap on Bluetooth, followed by the little information icon next to your AirPods, and then scroll to the bottom of the page. Tap on Forget This Device and tap again to confirm. You'll see this prompt notifying you that your AirPods will be removed from your Apple account which is exactly what you want, so again tap on Forget Device. If the card pops up again, it should now display that the AirPods are no longer yours, which confirms they have been disassociated with your Apple ID. This completes the first step of the process. If you own AirPods or AirPod Pros, you should now close the lid. Having unpaired your AirPods from your account, you can now complete the factory reset by erasing all your settings. This step is slightly different depending on which AirPods you own, so I'll start with AirPods and AirPods Pro, and then move on to AirPods Max. If you have a button on the back of your AirPod case, start by opening the lid. A white LED light should start flashing on the front of the case. Press and hold the button for a count of roughly 15 seconds. During the 15 seconds, the light at the front of the case will change to flashing amber. Continue holding the button until the amber flashing light changes back to flashing white. You can now let go of the button and close the lid of your case. Your AirPods are now reset and you're fine to sell them or repair them with your iPhone. If you own a newer model of AirPods that doesn't have a button at the back of the case, again start with the lid closed. Open the lid and the light at the front of your case should start flashing white. Double tap the front of the case just below the light. Count to three and double tap the case again. The light should continue to flash white. Again count to three and double tap the case a third time. Now the light should change to flashing amber for a few seconds before returning to flashing white. This completes the reset process for your AirPods. For AirPods Max owners, you simply need to press and hold the two buttons on top of the right earphone for 15 seconds. During this time, you'll see the LED light at the bottom of the earphones change from flashing white to flashing amber and back to flashing white. Having gone through this process, you can let go of the two buttons. Your AirPods Max are now reset. So that is how to factory reset your AirPods. If you found the video useful, please consider tapping the super thanks button below or clicking the link in the description to buy me a coffee. Genuinely, there is nothing more rewarding than receiving your support, so thank you. It really is appreciated. And you should definitely check out this video showing you how to connect two pairs of headphones to your iPhone or iPad to listen to music or watch a movie with a friend or partner. Or how about this video showing you how to maximize the battery life of your iPhone or iPad. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.